So today we're going to talk about natural hierarchy. So a lot of people who are attracted to things like Buddhism think, you know, it's kind of alternative and hippie and like anything goes. But Buddhism is actually really formal. But it's not form formal in an uptight way. Um, it's not about being uptight. It's about formally kind of following the harmonious laws of nature. You might want to get you the right. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you uh, don't obey the basic laws of the universe or nature, um, then thing then there's discord, and it's horrible for the environment and for your happiness and for society generally. So we're going to talk about those three laws, basic laws of nature that are called La, Nien, and Lu. Ooh. So the first of La, Nien, and Lu is Lu. You could go in either direction, I guess, but Lu is the lowest and is not considered worse or better than the higher up. Lu is equally important to all the others. And Lu is often represented by water or say a basement or a canyon, anything super low. It's heavy, it's rich, but it's also fresh and bright, as you can see with like lit up water. So Nien is symbolized by the shoulders, the chest, the heart. Uh, it could be like a tree. It could be the foothills, not the top of a mountain, but the foothills. Um, it could be the living quarters of a house, not the basement, not the roof. It's in the middle and it symbolizes basically friendship and society, sort of human relations. The heart is the uh, middle of a, the traditional uh, Eastern bow. So finally we have law, which the Tibetans, uh, when they climb a mountain peak and they get to a summit, you might have heard them or you will hear them now, you'll recognize it, they'll yell, LO GELO! And the first one is LA, L-H-A, and it means mountain peak, the highest realm of the gods, which is a bad translation since Buddhists don't really have deities or theistic gods. but. God actually means drala, so it's the energy when La, Nian, and Lu all come together and you're in harmony with the earth and the sky above, the heavens above, which are so blinding right now, um, then you feel drala, which is the natural energy of the universe and you're in harmony of that. So that's La, the highest. So the point of La, Nian, and Lu together is you have your feet on top of the earth, that's Lu, Anything sort of from your knees down is Lu. Nian is your whole middle torso, your heart, your shoulders. It's how you relate to people. And then La is the heaven principle, so sort of the top of your head, a hat, books, because books are learning or inspiration that go into your mind, and the heavens above. So th this is simply a way to order your life. And it's not about being uptight or rigid like Victorian, like sit up straight, don't do this, don't do that. It's more just, how do you order your life? Because we're part of nature, we're not separate from it, in a way that nature orders stuff. So trees have roots and water, that's Lu, and then they have the tree trunk, and that's Nian, and that's, and then they have the leaves that gather all the sunshine, and that's La. So La can be the realm for an entrepreneur, uh, or for any of you, of your mission, your inspiration, your vision. Nian can be the realm of friendship, how you relate to other people. Uh, and Lou can be gr being grounded in details, making sure your email is working, making sure you're taking out the recycling every Thursday morning, whatever it is. Um, so if you have your details and your vision to united 
in who you are, man or human or woman in between, then you're sort of like a tree. You're part of nature. Um, so some practical tips in terms of Lanian and Lu. From that point of view, I was always taught as a child, never put your feet up on top of a coffee table for that reason. Um, if you're putting them on an ottoman that's intended for that, that's okay. But a table is meant to be a, a law, a surface for something to go on. Um, or at least it's Nian at the very least, and your feet are Lu. You don't put your hat for the same reason on the ground, Lu. You don't put your uh, books on the ground. You don't put your clothes on the ground. So again, there's nothing wrong with Lu. Lu is essential. It's part of nature. Um, but the idea is you just simply don't mix them up um, too much. And if you do it, mix them up in some way, you do it uh, with awareness. So something very small, like if you are putting a book close to the ground, you can put it on a little cushion or something like that. Um, same with like your food. If you're putting food on the ground for a picnic, you have a little picnic blanket. So what I love about this is it's a way to order your life and your home. There's a certain amount of depression or chaos or confusion that happens when you mix those up, when your clothes are all over the floor, which I'm guilty of frequently. And from that point of view, you don't uh, get uptight about doing it wrong, uh, like I do all the time. You just understand that you're not quite in harmony with the universe. And we see that uh, human society is not in harmony with nature and it hurts us uh, because we don't think we're part of nature. We're exploiting nature all the time and everything's getting messed up. Uh, so again, it's not like a moral thing. It's not uptight. So please don't use this as an excuse to yell at anyone, including yourself. Um, simply, it's awareness. And when you do everything correctly, you find this sort of sense of decorum or dignity. Um, and you don't have to have your pinky out when you're drinking your tea. I was like visualizing drinking tea. But you can kind of have this uplifted kind of cheerful sense. So that's La, Nian, and Lu. Hope that helped. Oh, and one final thing is you can bring the three together in the bow. So the bow is sort of the Eastern version of the handshake. I have a whole video about the bow if you want to learn about it. Or as a butterfly. But basically you connect La, your, your mission in life, Lu, the grounded details of your life, the earth below, and then you connect the two in your heart, your breath, and you give it away. Mm -hmm.